Is he bumping into every single girl in this town? Because that's what it feels like. A house full of girls. Can you imagine that? It would be crazy. Everyone would steal each other's clothes. Makeup would go missing. And there would be a lot of food eaten in that house. But also, it would be kind of interesting. This is house full of girls, made by a gacha tuber called Kazi Time. Guys, if you're excited to find out what living in a house full of girls is like, make sure to leave a like on the video. And now, let's get into it. Okay. Looks like someone is fast asleep. Grayson, why are you laying on the couch? Mom, don't wake up the birds. Hey, Joe. Yes, mommy. Mommy. Why don't you listen to me? Why are you so mean to me, mom? I told you to sweep the floor. Did you do it? No. Then do it. Oh my goodness, boy. How could you forget? She told him to sweep the floor and instead he took a nap. Sounds like something I'd do. Well done. I'm proud of you. Help me out around here. Help me out with girls chasing me. You have unique color eyes that attract other females. It isn't your fault. Oh my. He has special eyes apparently that all the girls in the area love. I can't wait to see them and see what is so special about them. Grayson. Look at me. You know how to handle them. I guess you could say that. It's Sunday. I'll go out and enjoy myself outside, Mom. Behave. I'm as innocent as a cloud. I'm nice too. The complete opposite. Oh my goodness, he's out and about. And wow, his eyes are really unique. They're like a pastel green color. Wow, you're hot. You're just like the other girls. No, don't go. Excuse me, lady. He's run away from her. There you guys are. You got chased by girls again. Shut up, dude. What can I say? I'm your friend after all. Don't forget about me, you guys. Now, why would we forget about you, V? Just in case. Why don't you go and hug Grayson, V? I'm so sorry for Simon. Nah, you're good, V. Something wrong. <laughs> no. All right. See you guys later. Bye, Grayson. Oh, I think she likes him. Oh dear, what's going on here? These guys look a bit sketchy. Glad you can join the party, Grayson. You already know me. I'm always on time. Let's go finish our job. I'm kind of scared. What's his job? Oh no, they're all shocked. Why? What are they doing? They're in a store? You have to have the video game. I've said this so many times. We're sold out. Now shoo. Oh, they just wanted to buy a game. Not commit a crime. Why did I think that? I thought they were about to commit a crime. <laughs> what are we going to do now? Idiots. What would you do, Adam? Act like normal people. Yeah, Ralph. Act like a normal person. What? Says you. I did nothing wrong. Ladies, ladies, calm down. What? what? He's the lady. You both act like babies. How long were you there for? Not too long. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm here to buy cookies. Oh my, they just fell into each other. It's not a Catch Life mini movie unless two characters are falling into each other's arms. How cliche. I caught you. She does not look impressed about that. Ralph? Adam? Anybody? Sorry to break it to you, Grayson, but everyone left while you guys were sharing that intimate moment. <laughs> Baby! Oh, the crazy girl's back. The next day. I'm going to school, Mom. Interesting. Oh, Mom doesn't care. She's too busy on her phone. Probably on Facebook. Taking selfies like this. Love you too, Mom. Sorry if I'm late. You're dang right you're late. As long as you guys like hanging out with me, I'm good. I love seeing you instead. Mia and her obsession. I'm not obsessed, Logan. Every girl is obsessed with Grayson for some reason. It's because of his special eyes even though they're just eyes. But whatever floats their boat, you know? He's ugly. Oh, that's one thing to say to your friend, isn't it? <laughs> You're so nice, Mason. He's the most handsome guy I've ever met. What is going on here? Is Mia falling for Mason all of a sudden? I will win your heart, Mia, because I fell in love with you. Wow, the confidence in Mason. And you know what? I think it worked. This school is crazy. There is so much going on. Like, what is happening here in the hallway? Bro, help me out here. Oh, Grayson and his eyes, you know, just attracting all of the girls in school. You're so cute. <laughs> There's nothing funny about girls having crushes. Well, if it isn't Miss Student Body President. Girls, 
Let me have a talk with him. Yes, memory. Her name is memory? What? Is she a stick of ram? <laughs> that was the lamest thing I've ever said. Like, period. <laughs> I said girls. What? what? You heard her. You're more of a baby, Grayson. What? I agree. Bye. What did you want to talk about, Miss President? I don't want you making fun of our feelings. It could hurt anybody. Uh-huh. As if I care. You wouldn't care, because you've never fallen in love before. Uh-huh. Why do I even try? Bye-bye now. Oh, you tried memory, but you failed. You really failed. Grayson's just sick of being chased around because of his eyes, and I don't blame him. That must be quite annoying, actually. After to school. What's gonna happen after school though? Surely he's safe from the girls after school time. Oh, maybe not. What are you doing here? Well, if it isn't Grace and the player. Let me tell you something. I'm no player. You girls just come on to me. Whatever. You know you can't be here. I'll be taking my leave. Is he bumping into every single girl in this town? Because that's what it feels like. Oh, he actually bumped into her as well. Again? I swear he's already bumped into her once. I thought she hated him, but it doesn't look like she does now. You're new here, because I haven't seen you in the school before. I just transferred today, but I've heard a lot about you. Bet they're bad. Oh, they are, trust me. I get that a lot. Sorry I'm late. Hey, memory. You, me. What's this? This is the guy I was talking about. You were clumsy. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No! Stop acting like babies. I blame her. I'm out of here. What was his name again? Grayson? Such an idiot. I actually kind of feel sorry for Grayson. There are too many girls in this story for Grayson to deal with. A week passed by and the summer vacation is here. Everything was going great until... Mom, pack your bags. You're going on a vacation. You're the best. Oh my goodness, I could use a vacation right now. But I can't go on vacation right now, so I'm going to live it through Grayson. You better have a good time. Where are they going to? Ooh, a nice house. Where are we, Mom? This is where you'll be staying for the next two weeks. I want you to behave. If not, these girls will teach you manners. Huh? Bye now. Wait, Mom? Really, Mom? Ugh, better go inside. I think this is a house full of girls. Even more girls. Poor Grayson. Oh my gosh, it's all of the girls that he's already met. And he's fallen into one of them again. How? How is this happening every time? You! Me? Why did you pull me in? Just to make sure. She did literally drag him through the door. I don't know why, but Grayson and girls just do not get along. <gasps> and look who it is. The washing machine is fixed. You! This is a nightmare. I'll just go and take a shower. Get along, you two. Two weeks, huh? How did you know? Your mom. Right. Welcome, Grayson. Memory is here too? Could this day get any worse? Stop being dramatic. We're here to teach you a lesson. That's why your mom knows about it. <gasps> mom set it up. Oh no. Why would she do that to him? <laughs> what lesson could he possibly learn from living with girls for two weeks? Mom's a sneaky. I'm you me. Of course, you know memory. And that one in the shower is Kimmy. Why does he need to live with girls? It's just you three, right? Yes. Good, good. Let me show you to your room. I hope he has a nice room at least. That would make his two weeks stay a little bit better. Oh no, don't tell me they've put him in a bunk bed. This is where you'll be sleeping. You're sharing a room with Kimmy. Poor Grayson. Poor, poor guy. <laughs> he can't escape. He truly can't. Why? Because I know Taekwondo. So, I won't let you escape if you try. I'm not a heavy sleeper. I wake up to any noises. I'm scared already. Have fun, you two. Poor Grayson. I would hate to be in his situation. Go into the toilet when everyone else is asleep and trying not to wake them up is already a very hard task. Never mind if they're light sleepers. He's gonna have a great time in this house. Calm down. I'm not going to eat you. Sure. Make yourself at home. What is she doing? She just went in his bag. For what? I don't want you murdering us. I'm not a murderer. What a normal thing to say to someone. I don't want you murdering us. Well, no. I don't think anybody wants to be murdered. But you can't just go around assuming people are murderers. Your eyes are pretty unique. She's already falling for him. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm changing into something more comfortable. Not a player. Interesting. Later that night. 
He's just laying on the floor, regretting all of his life choices. Everything that has led him up to this moment, he's thinking about. How did I end up in a house full of girls? What are you doing on the floor? Uh, I've never slept in the same room as a girl before. So that's why you've got to be so far away from Kimmy. It felt wrong. I see. That must be quite uncomfortable, to be fair, if you're not used to it as well. Poor guy. What are you doing, Yumi? I'm going to sleep in here with you. Oh, that's so cute. The next day. I don't even know where Yumi went. Well, there's your answer. I have an idea, but I need your strength to help me carry Yumi. What's her idea? I'm kind of scared. Seriously, what are they up to? Ah, oh my gosh, she swapped places with Yumi. You were snoring all night. Huh? Yeah, you were having so much fun that you passed out. You're joking, right? Yeah, I am. You should have seen your face. Not funny. Where's Yumi anyway? She's sleeping in a room. Good. We're going somewhere. So get ready. These girls playing tricks on him, telling him he has beautiful eyes, making him sleep in a bunk bed, and now he's being dragged out to some unknown location. He's having a bad time. Where are you taking me? For us to have some alone time together. V? Hey, Grayson. How have you been? Simon had to visit Colorado to see his grandparents. So I've been basically bored. Nice to meet you. Same with you. I'm V. I'm Memory. Why don't we go to the store, Grayson? Poor Grayson. And he was having a conversation with V. They didn't even get to finish speaking. And before he knew it, he was dragged away. Poor V has to go back to being bored again. Emery, where are you taking him? Something wrong. Something tells me that you're being overprotective. I'm not overprotective. Memory, it was obvious. I'm not overprotective. Let's go get you a hot dog instead of you complaining. That sounds like a great idea, honestly. Count me in. Hot dog? It doesn't look like she wants a hot dog, dude. Looks like she's refusing it. Here, I don't want a hot dog. Why are you so picky? I just don't want a hot dog. Why did Grayson assume that she wanted a hot dog in the first place? She could have been vegetarian. Who knows? You eat the hot dog, if you say so. Sounds like your stomach is talking to me. No, it isn't. Take it. All right, I'll eat it. Give me the hot dog. So she did want a hot dog after all. Why did she lie then? Why didn't she just take it when he offered her it? That's my question. Somebody was offering me free food. You can bet I would be taking it straight away. I'd just take it. It's mine, thanks. Are you okay, Memory? I'm hungry. But he dropped the dirty hot dog. You pushed me. Stop acting like babies. Oh no, they dropped the hot dog. After all of that, and it just ended up on the floor. That's so sad. One like on this video equals one prayer for the hot dog. Memory doesn't fight with anybody like this. I'm going to my room. Our room. Love how Kimmy had to point that out there. It's not just your room. Remember you're sharing it with me. And I can hear you snore and it's very loud. Top or bottom bunk? I don't mind which. My preference is the top bunk. Why? Because I have a fear of someone above me peeing in the night and it going on me or them falling onto me. Or if the bunk bed collapsed, being crushed by the person above you. Honestly, the top bunk is the best place to be. It's the safest. It's the most logical place. The only downside, of course, is climbing up and down a ladder. But who's doing that if you're asleep, you know? What are you doing? You seem nervous. Is that the reason why you slept in the living room? Maybe. It's okay, Grayson. Kimmy is here to make you feel comfortable. Thanks, Kimmy. I know I don't show much emotion, but just know that I'll be here, Grayson. I don't want to make you uncomfortable here. Promise. Oh, she's actually really nice. Well done, Kimmy. You've made me like you. Thank you, Kimmy. I'll take top bunk. Fine by me. What is she doing? He's asleep. Leave him alone. Yumi, what are you doing in here in the middle of the night? I missed you. Let's talk in the living room instead. He can't even get sleep in this house. I feel so bad for him. Poor guy. Thank you, senpai. What is wrong with you? You're so amazing. You're something else. No. Yumi, just stop this. I don't care. I just want to kiss you. This poor boy. He's trying his hardest in this house and it's just not going very well for him, is it? Yumi, this isn't you. But don't you love me back? They're waking everyone up in the house now. This is just embarrassing. This was where all the noise was coming from? Yumi was upset. Again. I just want to kiss Senpai. Yumi, let's just get you to bed. Yeah, Yumi, I think you're overtired, girl. You need to go to sleep. Go to bed. Paul Grayson is just passed out. He's so embarrassed. Wake up, idiot. Wow, Grayson has got his hat on today. It covers up his entire face. 
I think he's trying to hide from the girls, to be honest. Finally. Sorry that I took so long. Don't worry about it, Kimmy. I can't reach. Oops. Much better. Don't look at me like that. Let's go. Oh, well, at least we can see his eyes now. Oh, hey, you guys. Any plans for today? No, not that I know of. Grayson, are you okay? Uh, I don't think he is. Last night was pretty awkward, to be honest. I'm okay. You and I are going to hang out today. Let's go then. I'm so happy for them. Aren't you hurt that your crush is with someone else? Are you hurt? I know you're an overprotective person, Memory. I'm not hurt because I'm happy that he's happy. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I'm not hurt because I'm happy that he's happy. What does that mean? Sorry, but what? He doesn't need to be with us. I know it hurts, Memory. It hurts me too. But he's not the only guy in this world. He'll find someone else, Memory. Why do they all have a crush on him? Like, everyone has a crush on him. Plus... We're sisters. Not by blood, but by heart. Thank you, Yumi. Of course. Oh, well, they're kind of cute together though, aren't they? Are you okay? Let's hang out somewhere. Anywhere you want to go? Let's watch a movie? A movie it is. Oh, wow, they actually went to the movie theater. I wonder what they're watching. Oh, they're very close. The whole day was Kimmy. was just us competing at who's better. Everything had been a good time with her. Oh, he's even showing off. Uh, you can do push-ups, but so can she. She can do it just as well. That wasn't funny. It is to me. Sadly, the day is over. Thanks for today. Of course, it's been fun. I'll see you later. I'm tired. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Grayson, the guy that I've been looking for. What's up, Yumi? I just got out of a phone call with your mom, and she says that she wants to take you back. As in, as in you can leave here. She misses you. Plus, I think it sounded like an emergency. Do you know what it's about? I wish I knew, Grayson. You're leaving tomorrow morning, so I won't be able to hang out with you guys anymore. I don't think so. Oh, he's actually gonna miss them all. Even though they've been annoying him for the past few days. Can we hang out? Right now? I don't see why not. Come on. Wow, this place is beautiful, isn't it? More than beautiful. If I was a crocodile, what would you do? That was out of nowhere. What would you do? I'd probably run away. I'll eat you up then. No! Come back here, silly. Aw, they're having so much fun. They fell over again. <gasps> They're kissing! Oh my gosh! Is he just falling in love with all of the girls? Who do you ship Grayson with? Memory? Kimmy? Or Yumi? Hmm... If I had to pick, I think it would be Yumi. I just love the sass. Anyway, guys, that is where this Catch a Life mini movie has ended. I hope you did enjoy it. I thought it was super cute. And I thought all of the girls were super annoying, but in the best way. If you want to watch another video of mine, you can click here and let's go watch it together.